I see so many moms on social media asking, is it normal if my kid isn't saying all the words? Is it normal that my toddler keeps throwing fits? Is it normal that my four-year-old still sleeps in my bed? So many moms just asking, is it normal? I just feel like we need a little bit of a dose of, yes, it's normal. I feel like there's so much anxiety that happens when you're a first time mom. And I know for sure it was for me. I was so paranoid that like if my son went to daycare with mismatched socks, somebody was going to think bad of me and somebody was going to think that I wasn't taking good care of him. And I, I would be anxious about every single little thing. I would check his breathing all the time. I would compare him to other kids in his class. And I would just wonder, like, is he where he's supposed to be? Is there something that I'm not doing right? And it was just really terrible. And now that I've had my second kid and I've spent a bunch of time around other kids, I just know that kids all develop at different stages. And yes, sure, there are totally points where it would be important to talk to your doctor about, like if they weren't talking by a certain age and you just felt like any kind of motherly concern, always trust your mom gut. It never hurts to ask your doctor about it. But don't be sitting there asking social media to compare their children to yours because it's not going to help you at all. So I've compiled a little list here of just things that I've seen moms asking about and I just wanted to give thought to some of these. Yes, it is totally normal for your two-year-old or even your one-year-old and your three-year-old and your four-year-old to bite, to hit, to kick, to throw things and to scream. These are all things that children in that age range do, sometimes for years on end before they really learn to start expressing themselves the right way. When a child acts out like that, they're usually either expressing a feeling or testing a boundary. It doesn't mean that your child is like overly aggressive or that there's anything that you need to worry about. Your job when your kid acts like that is to show them the way that they should be expressing their feelings or if you know they're just testing you to just lay down that boundary and let them know um mom's gonna react the same exact way every time so let's stop that <laughs> something that i learned really early on teaching daycare like before i even had kids of my own is that toddlers absolutely thrive with boundaries you would think that it's just easier to not tell them no and it's just easier to kind of like let them do whatever but actually you'll find that if you lay down solid boundaries and you stick to them your kids will be better behaved i like it was mind-blowing for me to witness this as i laid down boundaries in my classroom and i didn't budge and i saw and i mean there was pushback at first but then after they realized oh Miss Jessie isn't going to change her mind. Uh, they all started acting the way that I needed them to act. And I've seen it with my own kids too. Kids thrive when they feel safe within the boundaries that their parents are making. So don't worry, don't worry. If, if your kid is going through a hitting phase right now or a screaming phase right now, I have actually made a video just about that. And I'll put it up here and in the description for you. It might last a long time. It might last months. It might even last a whole year. It's not abnormal and it's not something that you need to be concerned about as like part of their character. It's just something that toddlers do. It's just something that they have to work through and that you just have to guide them through and love them through until they're done with that phase and they start expressing themselves appropriately. Another thing that I'm seeing really commonly asked and I actually struggled with this really hard myself is is it normal for kids to go through periods of not eating like at all <laughs> and yes it is totally normal for toddlers to go through periods of not wanting to eat anything and i i seriously mean like we went through a months long period where my son would only eat graham crackers oranges and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and anything else that i offered him was just a no-go i got really nervous and anxious about it like i would cry about it um, I've actually talked about this in another video too about picky eating and some things that I, you can try, some things that I tried to get through that phase. But it's really normal unless your kid is losing like a massive amount of weight or if your pediatrician is concerned, 
just try to write it out. I know it's scary and stressful, but it really is normal. We went through that phase for, I don't know, a really long time, like at least six months. It was a really long phase. And now that he's four and a half, it's the total opposite. Like it was like a switch went off and all of a sudden he is eating so much. Like I have to tell him, no, you've eaten enough wait for dinner. So it does end. Another common thing, your child only wanting you or only wanting your spouse. I've been on both sides of this. Totally normal. My son didn't want me. As soon as, I mean, as soon as he was like mobile basically, he was like, peace out mom. I'm gonna go over here with dad now. And uh, to this day, it's pretty rare to get snuggles out of him. He loves me, obviously. If you're sitting on the side of the one not being favored right now, your kid still loves you. It's just kids form attachments differently. It can hurt and feel sad, especially if you're the mom and you like, you carried them and you birthed them and you're like, why don't you want me to hold you? It can be really hard, but it is normal. There's nothing wrong with them. There's nothing wrong that you're doing. Some kids just prefer daddy and it, it won't last, I will tell you that. And I can't say that from experience because my son still totally favors my husband, but I've seen other kids go through phases and I've had moms older than me let me know. like. Over time, it'll kind of go back and forth. And if you think back on it, I can actually think back on my childhood and there are totally times where I was like really favoring my mom and then totally times where I was really favoring my dad. And if you take a second and think about it, probably you could say the same thing. There's just seasons of life where mom's more fun or dad's more fun and it's not a personal thing. It's just kind of like the waves of childhood. Try not to take it too hard if you're on my side and try not to take it too super personally. I know, I, I really do know that it's hard. A little thing that might be able to help is if you could get your partner to kind of help the relationship a little bit. Like if your child's hugging on daddy, maybe daddy could say, oh, that was such a nice hug. Can mommy have a hug like that? And kind of like encourage your child to share more love with mommy. That might be something that could help. What's funny actually is, so my son has always favored my husband, like from the, almost the very beginning has always favored my husband. And my daughter, my youngest child, actually favors me. Like she's almost three now and it's always been me. She's always been a mommy's girl. So maybe you'll have, maybe you'll have it like that where one kid really favors daddy and the other one really favors you. And again, it's not a personal thing. It's just kind of like a how attachments are formed thing. I think it kind of boils down to just accepting that the picture that you had in your mind of what your relationship with your child is going to look like might not be what you thought. And you might need to find a new way to feel close to them. Like if they aren't really big, like my son, really not big on snuggles and hugs absolutely loves it if I get on the floor and I pretend to be a cheetah and we he will play with me like that forever sort of like finding their love language there's other ways that you can have good deep relationship with them so I hope that's encouraging I, I know it's hard okay the last thing that I noticed just huge trend on social media people asking about is it is super normal for your kids to not want to part with their comfort items. I'm not too sure why this is a concern, but I'm just seeing it a lot. Yeah, your child's not gonna wanna give up their bottle. They're not gonna wanna give up their binky or their breastfeeding or their special blanket. These are things that they've literally had as core comfort items since birth probably. And so it's a lot to expect from them to just have them grow out of it when you think that it's time for them to grow out of it. My son had a binky and a special blanket until he was three and a half. Yes, I did wean him cold turkey from that, from the binky, never his blanket. I don't personally believe in taking away blankets. I feel like a blanket is something you could have literally your entire life. So there's no reason to like 
take that away. The binky was becoming a concern for his teeth. Even if you do decide, like it is time to switch from bottle to cup, or it is time to get rid of that binky, or it's time to start leaving the blanket in the car or at home. All those things are okay, but there's nothing wrong with your child if they're having a really hard time transitioning away from those things. When you take away a comfort item like that, or you change the comfort item from one thing to another, they need time to adjust, and they need time to find something new to kind of take the place of that comfort item. So there's probably going to be a lot of crying, a lot of tantruming. Tantruming, is that a word? Um, while they figure it out. Leave me a comment. What is something that you've been worrying about lately? What's something that you're wondering, like, is this normal? Or what's something that you've heard someone else say? Like, if you're a little bit more of a seasoned mom, what's something that you've seen young moms say? Like, ah, oh, is this normal? And you just wanna, like, offer a word of encouragement about that. Leave it in the comments, and that way anybody that watches this video can go see and hopefully feel heard and feel a little bit more encouraged as they are just working out how to be a new mom. If you're brand new here, this is like the first video on my channel that you've seen. My name is Jessica and I do videos like this every single Monday. I cover so many topics about mothering young kids. I just feel like this is an area that we need more mommies talking about. The whole goal here is that when you arrive on my channel, you feel like you're doing motherhood with a friend. If you're needing that in your life right now, I would love it if you would hit subscribe and join this very quickly growing little community. Super, super excited. We're almost at our first 100 subscribers. So look at this video down here if you need some more toddler mommy advice. I'll see you there.